All right, what's going on guys? Try back again here to bring you another video. This one's going to be doing my first review for season three for Fear the Walking Dead. This one we're going to focus on the first episode as part of the double premiere that we saw and then I'll do the review for episode two. I feel like there's enough for each episode for us to separate them up and look at them individually because this was just such a crazy eventful premiere. So as such, big time spoiler warning, and we do mean it because there's actually some stuff in uh, this double premiere that really is going to impact the series in a huge way. Uh, so again, spoiler warning, uh, if you guys didn't catch it earlier, I did a reaction video giving my thoughts uh, and just my initial reaction after finding out the events of episode two and that, you know, Travis is killed off in fear is, is really crazy. So check out that video if you guys want to see my reaction and if you're just looking to hear like, okay, Trev, how did you feel that they killed off Travis? We know that he was your favorite character. Character. What are you thinking of this time? How are you feeling? Check out that video. I'll also put the link in the description. So, uh, man, this was really crazy. So let's start with episode one in this video. We'll do episode two after and discuss the Travis stuff uh, elsewhere. So uh, Fear of the Walking Dead season three, episode one, Eye of the Beholder. So we pick up uh, this season in what is a pretty crazy pace episode. I mean, very, very fast paced episode with this uh, first episode for uh, Fear the Walking Dead season three. We basically pick up with uh, the group uh, at the border that has now captured our uh, our three. So you have Madison, uh, Alicia, and Travis that, uh, that were kind of in and around that area at the end of season two's finale. And we pretty much uh, pick up where that left off, but we kind of skip a little bit to where they've actually been captured by uh, Troy's group at the uh, the border. And all of this is uh, this new group, Troy, and everything about him uh, was pretty mysterious to us uh, at the end of season two. And now in season three, we're finally getting to kind of get some info about this new group of villains. Uh, the villains themselves I thought were very fearsome at first and then of course there's there, kind of a twist a little bit that we get into with uh, meeting his brother Jake Troy's brother Jake and um, you know I did like Jake because of course he's he just seems like more of like a regular good guy type of character and he knows his little brother is troubled he knows his little brother is up to chaos and he's basically once you know and I felt like it was a little bit it was a little bit strange to see the, the group of villains kind of transform so easily into kind of like uh, falling back in line but I would say that I have seen behavior like that from people where if their dad isn't around or their big brother isn't around, they just go crazy. <laughs> they just do crazy shit. And in a zombie apocalypse, I guess you could say that a character like Troy could exist and that you might see that fast of a transformation from him as soon as uh, his brother or his dad shows up. And then all of a sudden he's like, oh, shit, I have to like behave myself now. And, you know, straightens up his shirt and shit and, you know, like does what he's supposed to do. Right. So. Even though it was a little disjointed, I want to say, from his behavior before we see his brother to, like, right after where everything's like, oh, okay, you know, big brother's here, and now all of our, you know, regular group is safe at this point. Troy's in big trouble, even though he got his eye stabbed out and this, he deserved it and everything. And, you know, it was just it was just a little bit, like, weird to just see that quick uh, transformation. But, like I said, you know, I don't want to say it's contrived because it's like I have seen people that behave like that once their dad comes around or their brother comes around. Uh, they stop... Uh, you know whatever nonsense they're they've got the others doing uh it's just strange to me that so many of the others would be involved with troy doing this and killing people and doing all the stuff they're doing uh you know recording it as it being like science um I, do I want to say it seemed a little bit far-fetched that you could have a group like that and then they could be transformed so quickly once uh, another part arrives? Uh, yeah, and also, you know, like the question like I had in my mind as I'm watching this, like how the hell are they going to get out of here? You know, once they go down into the sewers, you have Nick and Alicia that go down there and they kind of come out of the tunnel. You have just like tons of zombies coming in. Uh, you have the rats everywhere, which was really cool. And uh, the Rat King zombie was sweet. So you have the, <laughs> the one guy, one of Troy's minions, so to speak, who opens up or is taking a look in and you see kind of the rats all spill out and they're everywhere and then the uh, the rat eating zombie grabs him and gets him and pulls him in so that was a pretty wicked kill on him and uh, you know it had some pretty cool vibes for me in the first episode that reminded me a bit of like terminus from the original walking dead where you have the group there and they're kind of trapped maybe not quite as intense but it was it was pretty intense and we did see them like killing people off you saw some of the other characters there try to escape and and you know they try to get away and then they kind of get recaptured again and then so it brings into question like oh okay, what's going to happen now 
now, and I guess our kind of uh, our way out, so to speak, was that uh, his big brother shows up. So that was cool. So you've got. Um, the beginning, just pretty fast-paced, a cool intro. You can hear the screams. You can hear all that kind of stuff. Very terminus S. I like the intro music. It was pretty, uh, pretty intense and pretty trippy just to just to see that all in the compound. And then we've got uh, Travis finding Nick. So he sees Nick, um, you know, just dead at the border. You've got uh, Madison and Alicia that are meeting with uh, Troy as everyone's being uh, processed. Um, the uh, the spoon stab was wicked, though. <laughs> I gotta admit, like of all the things to stab him with, there's a knife, and you know we saw from kind of the uh, the trailer and that that we were going to see something like that but for her to stab him in the eye with a spoon that was pretty wicked he's, she's like threatening to like pop his eye out and stuff with a spoon um that was <laughs> that was pretty brutal uh, but it was badass at the same time and plus y- you're gonna want to have a character like that madison is is one of the most badass females we've seen in the walking dead universe overall and especially if you're not going to have travis there anymore then well i guess it, you know you're going to want to have her be pretty pretty badass which she is and and so is alicia and that was uh, that was good so then you've got the others who are being killed in that you've got uh, troy who's writing things down he's kind of journaling and you've got travis and the others who fight back which was a pretty exciting scene as they kind of fight back and they kind of break out and they're you know they're kind of getting free and everything going down into the uh, the sewer and the one guy who gets uh, who gets killed and then dumped into the sewer after them and then alicia drops the knife down which again remind a lot of stuff like in this reminds me of original walking dead because it's like you have dale who drops a screwdriver in for uh, andrea and then she uses that to kill the rv zombie it kind of reminded me of that when alicia kind of drops it down and then they get it Lu- luciana and nick get it and then they kill off the uh, uh the zombie guy that was helping them escape um so that was all cool. Let's see what else we got. So we got the family reunited again, which was a pretty good scene because they have been split up for a little while. Uh, probably the best part is when you have uh, Nick and uh, Madison who who you know embrace each other again after it's uh, you know it's been a while they haven't seen each other. So that was cool. And uh, you know then you've got kind of all of the zombies that start to to come in. We meet Jake and all that. And there's the uh, the pit fight scene, which was really wicked. Really like that to see Travis you know beating the crap out of them all, throwing around the cinder block. It was cool. Um, really good stuff there and then you kind of have everybody kind of come in with Jake and then he's like Troy what the hell are you doing and they all kind of just you know come back in together and start to uh, embrace each other again everybody seems to be okay and you get the you get the idea that okay everything's going to be okay now and everyone's going to survive and none of them are going to be killed off in this uh, in this premiere before of course uh, what happens uh, at the in the beginning of episode uh, two so in terms of this one and everything we see here in the premiere you see kind of the helicopter go off and all the zombies come in as they're fighting their way out it was pretty intense for the first episode i mean you had a lot of stuff in this one they threw in a lot and this is some this is some of the most fast-paced walking dead stuff i've ever seen i mean this is for me like this is faster pace than almost anything we've seen in the original walking dead i mean the original walking dead has some episodes that are pretty crazy and they jam pack quite a bit of stuff into it but one thing i'd say i do like more than i dislike with fear is that they really are giving us a lot. They're really jam-packing a lot of things into these episodes. And I think they know that they're they're struggling with trying to hook people with fear. So I think with this premiere and this double premiere, what they're really trying to do is they're really trying to get people to pay attention and to get invested in the show and to watch. Because, I, you know, of course they know the ratings have slipped a lot for fear, uh, down to around 3 million from like 10 where it originally started. And... Um, you know, I think they really want people to get into this. So they brought us, for the first episode, a really action-packed, crazy episode. Some people have already kind of, uh, I've seen in comments, um, you know, said the editing was crap and that kind of stuff and the way they, they cut it and put it together. It was just, it was really jam-packed. They put a lot into it and, um, you know, I thought it was pretty cool. I would, I don't know if I would say it's on the level of something like Terminus. You know, there's a lot of things about this kind of feel that was very Terminus-esque. Uh, I think Troy has a lot of similarities with Andrew J. West, who was uh, a Gary in the original Walking Dead. They seem kind of similar in that way where they're kind of, uh, you know, they themselves are not too strong, but as like, uh, you know, leaders or people that manipulate others into doing their uh, their bidding for them. I mean, one-on-one, Travis could obviously beat the crap out of Troy, right? Um, but, you know, as part of this system they've set up, they're pretty, pretty strong. So uh, it, definitely an interesting first episode. Definitely one that grabs the viewer's attention. Has a lot of crazy action in it. Has some, has some pretty dark scenes with the, the spoon and everything. And uh, it finishes off on a really strong point with the helicopter and stuff. Because a lot of this kind of stuff is stuff that we really we really didn't get to see too much in the original Walking Dead. And it, it does feel like 
they they went after it with this first episode. So for that, I'm happy. At least it doesn't feel like they're not trying their best to make it happen for us. I feel like they're they're throwing just about everything at us but the kitchen sink and uh, to get us to stay. Maybe that's what they need to do. You know, maybe that's maybe they realize like okay, we need to get people into this show. We need to make it happen. And if we have to throw too much at them, if there's too much happening, well, just throw it because we need to get people into this and in, into invested in this show and watching this show otherwise we're going to lose it so um really solid overall uh, premiere episode the only criticism i think i would have is i'm sure many of you guys do too is that maybe it was a little bit too fast paced and there was a little bit too much happening too quickly but again you know this kind of concept is not new we had all the walking dead you can't really do something at that kind of uh, like a slower pacing and uh, you know with a premiere they wanted to hit us big with this uh, double premiere and they certainly did so for the first episode I'm going to give it a 9.3 out of 10. I thought it was pretty crazy, pretty rapid, and, uh, you know, came after us uh, with, uh, you know, pretty, pretty, um, you know, engaging. It was pretty engaging, you know, I want to say as, as viewer. Pretty intense, uh, a bit emotional at times, but uh, because it's a premiere and, and, you know, a lot of us haven't watched Fear for a while, we're kind of just getting back into it. Certainly this one was not one where they didn't, you know, give us everything they could in terms of the action, intensity, and everything that they probably could do at that time and I appreciate the fact that we got episodes back to back so for the first episode 9.3 um, I'll cut it here this will be this video and then I'll have the uh, second review for you guys pretty soon I'll put the link in the description to the second one and you can watch my review of the second one because there's a lot that happens in that one too I mean a lot a lot so we'll get into that in a minute if you guys like this video please thumb it up below you can also share and favorite and if you're new and you want to subscribe you can subscribe at the bottom left I'll see you guys back in a bit as always it's Trev and I'm saying peace later guys see you soon what do you want us to do I don't know, viewer. How about a subscription? Do you think that might be in order? Or is that too much to ask?